it's time to take another Northern Ontario road trip. And it's really big. Wow. Holy doodle. A sign, top of the stairs. Oh. <laughs> Mr. KBK, are you ready? It will be as soon as we get to the trailhead. Uh-huh. Okay, Mrs. KBK, are you ready? Good, as ready as I'm gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> it's nine o'clock and we're about ready to hit the trail. Let's see how we do. We gotta go up to the sleeping giant. get ahead of the group. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> they stopped for a rest and I just kept moving on. And uh, this is the flat part. And I'm already tired. <laughs> Mosquito. And my leg hurts. And I don't know, honestly, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> but I'm just going to go slow. Take it as I can. And if I have to stop and wait, and that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna find a nice place to sit first. Not just in the middle of the bush. Gotta have a view. But so far, oh, bikers. Got passed by the ladies already. That's okay, I found my pace. Yeah, it's doing good so far. But then again, as I said, it's a flat part of the trail. <laughs> I just worry about how I felt on the Williams Lake Earth Cache at the end of that one, but that was dehydration. Oh, somebody's coming up on the left, and uh, I don't think it'll be like that. Now it's a matter of stamina on my leg. That's what. For some reason I thought it would be a lot higher off the water. Yeah. What? We're not there yet? <laughs> the timing didn't you? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you were just telling me what we were going to do today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, we're at the trailhead to uh, go up and we're just contemplating the climb because it's already taken us about an hour and a half, I think, uh, to get here, maybe two hours. And it's probably going to take us as just as much time to get up to the top as it did here. And it's probably about one-fifth the distance. Partly because it goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So stick with us. We're going to get there. We're not even there yet. The view is fantastic. Check this out. This is incredible. Oh, I've never been 
so glad to see a sign top of the stairs. Oh. <laughs> As you're walking up along, you know, it's after you get to the top of the stairs, you're teased with views along the side of the trail of what it looks like. And just now, we just noticed the meadow that we passed. You can see it below, and it's so cool to see it from this height all the way up here looking down on it. It's really neat to see, and we even saw some people crossing it. But, you know, there's a, looks like a trail going there. That's not the trail to the top, so don't take that as a shortcut. Well, Mrs. KBK, was it worth the view? Was it worth coming up here? I think the view is amazing. I'm glad we made it. It wasn't actually as bad coming up as I was afraid it might be after talking to an and terrier. Uh, <laughs> but we had a nice day for it. We had perfect hiking weather. I don't think they did. But the view up here is amazing. But you can see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll insert the video of yeah. that later. Um, so, was it worth actually coming up here? Yes, but ask me when we get back to the truck. <laughs> <laughs> I right will. now, yes. I, I will do that, absolutely. <laughs> I'll be asking myself that when I get back too, because uh, it's going to be a struggle. Okay. Okay, back up just a little bit. Back up. <laughs> back up. Back up. <laughs> and Mr. KBK, was it worth it? Well, that was a grueling hike up, but as you can see, it was, it was well worth it. Even if you do manage to get out onto that rock, it's uh, quite a view from up here. And? You're going to tell everybody to make the journey? Yeah, I dare you. Make the journey. <laughs> totally virtual. Still smiley. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's going to be a long day. Looks like rain clouds are coming in over there. And what? Rain? What do you mean? Oh no, we got to go. Be prepared. Kept it away. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. London Westy, Lyric Glass, what did you think? Well, I probably wouldn't have made it as well without the walking stick. Thank goodness for the walking stick. Once you get here, it's best to go out to that rock if you can. The view is spectacular. You can look all the way down and see the trees. And there's a little rock on the other side, and it looks like a little teddy bear. Hmm. Now we have to endure the walk down. Yeah, that'd be easy. <laughs> Jamie, Lady Jamie, what did you think? It took too long. It took too long? Yeah. Well, what about the view? It looks cool. It looks cool. A lady of few words. This is nice getting something from Lady Jamie. Now, do you think you'd ever do it again? No. No. <laughs> what about something like this in the future? It's a different site. Maybe. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Jamie. It was nice to hear your report as well. It was very nice to have KBK here with us to and come up and see this fabulous site. Even better when there's a virtual reward. Well, it took us five and a half hours to get up here, but we made it. And the view is absolutely worth it. 
and it's just uh, it, you want to take it in and, and believe that you're up here and you climbed that height it's just amazing so if you ever have a chance to get up here and uh, and you can and you're able but I would stress that make sure you bring lots of water uh, you dress lightly and you dress appropriately for the weather conditions and that you're prepared um, I've endured this journey it's, it was tough um, having something wrong with my leg um, I'm gonna find out in a few weeks from my doctor what it is um, but uh, it was amazing that I could actually struggle on my way up here. It was nice to have KBK and, and Lyric Class with me to help push me along. So, Yeah, we really put him in a wheelie and wheeled him up here. <laughs> I wish they had. <laughs> I really wish they had. <laughs> because it was a struggle. Some of the spots were like, oh. And I'm not, I'm not looking forward to the uh, trek back, but I'm sure we'll get there. So we have a bet. Okay, how long is it going to take us to get back? Think? I think five and a half hours back. Same time it took us to get up here. I'm gonna get five back. Five from Mrs. KBK. Downhill. Oh my God. Mr. KBK, what do you think? Uh, we could probably do it. Yeah, we probably do it in five. Five. That's Lyric last? Around five. Four five, and a half. Four and a half? Okay, four and a half. Okay. Four and a half. Okay, we have to try to do it in four and a half hours. Lady Jamie, what do you think? Can we do it in four? Say 16 hours. <laughs> How long do you think it's going to take us? Like four hours. Four hours? Okay. Ooh, that's a challenge. We have between four and four and a half hours to get back, so let's see. No, we'll re between four and five hours. Four and five hours? No, I said five and a half. So we have between... But you said four and four and a half. Oh, so what, so what do you want me to say? No, between four and five and a half. Okay, so we have between four and five and a half hours to get down. So we're going to shoot for four and hope it doesn't take five and a half. Sounds good. Questions okay, we've made it back to the parking lot. How long did it take us? Should I go with when I stopped your time or ours? Go both. both. Say both. <laughs> you were 11 hours and 25 minutes. We were oh. about 11.15. We oh, were, okay. We were <laughs> well, how do you feel? I'm not doing that again. I'll tell you, neither am I. <laughs> you? <laughs> it was worth it. It was a very long hike. It, it was just kind of like the, the hike that never ends, but... It was beautiful once we got there. This is the hike that never ends. It just goes on and on. Life. It went on and on. It was, like it was never going to end. And then Lyric Glass said, oh, I see cars. And I go, you're not teasing me, are you? Because I'm ready to drop. <laughs> and there were the cars. The sweet cars of the parking lot. Oh. Well, Lyric Glass did it. And Mr. KBK and Lady Jamie did it. Crossing over at the boulder. But I can't do it. Uh, at some point 10 years ago or so uh, we climbed a volcano in El Salvador and I was on a, the edge of the caldera and it was only about 10 feet wide with loose gravel and on one side was the caldera dropped straight down in and the other side was loose gravel for about a quarter of a mile about 45 degrees down with no stopping and ever since then I have been afraid of heights so and with a bum leg and getting a little older and not as agile I think I just am going to say no I'm not going to attempt it <laughs> so you'll have to enjoy the view from Lyric Glass who's over there right now at least half of Cash Canada got over there so at least we got here that's the one thing and we got this virtual the sleeping giant sure was a sight to see. It's even better to climb up. It's a long route, but worth it once you get up there. The drop down is fantastic. You can even see through the clear water in the bottom. It's an amazing place to go, and we were glad to have a virtual there. And, but it was a struggle to get up, for me anyway. Yep. But I'm sure glad I was able to get there and back in one piece. Me too. Yeah. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take you? To the belly of the giant. <laughs> <laughs>